Okay, so our primary business for the last 30 years has been control loading systems. Um, we specialize in low force, high force, high fidelity systems. Um, within the last five years, we introduced our new motion product line. Behind me, you'll see a 10,000 pound capacity platform. Um, our lower end is 3,000. Uh, soon to come would be our 30,000 pound plat platform, which would be uh, high payload, uh, level D, full flight training payload system. Okay. Typically our customers are all defense contractors, um, the large primes, the integrators. So they, uh, we are a subsystem component provider. We provide the control loading system. We also provide the motion bases. Um, once we provide those, the prime integrators will integrate the rest of the subsystems and create the end product. Frameless motor. Um, it produces 1,100 pounds of force, 2,200 pounds peak. Um, for this particular application, um, we want to show that it has the ability to generate a half pound breakout, but also has the, the ability to generate a thousand pounds of force if you need to. So the operating range is very small to extremely high. Um, it's designed for highest level of fidelity, level D flight trainers. So in this case, you're on, we're only looking at control feedback, right? Exactly. Um, the, the software programs uh, mo does the, the, the modeling, so we can model uh, any aircraft, from a rotary wing, Do you have any um, customers in the low range of simulation? You mentioned Cessna, so entry level ATDs or? Absolutely, absolutely. We do provide mid fidelity actuators, lower cost actuators for customers that want to leap into the market um, and have um, functional training, meaning they want to be able to trim the stick, they want to be able to. Um, maybe simulate some malfunctions, but their force requirements aren't necessarily as high as uh, maybe some other customers and or their price point is lower. So we, de we develop actuators that kind of fit into that market also. All right, that's great. Thanks.